And next will be Nancy Mercado, who has brought quite a number of her students here. You know, she didn't just bring you so you could get a better grade. She brought you so you could learn about something so important to your lives, because I'm sure she's a fabulous teacher, and she is the premier Latina poet of New York, Nancy Mercado. Glad to call her my friend. I'm very fortunate to uh, be here and to have Daniela as wonderful. Um, sorry that for the reason that I'm here and I'm glad that the students came. And yes, Julie Mathis has the sign-in sheet. <laughs> <laughs> so see her, she's in, she's in the back. Um, this piece, and I'm working on some other pieces, so I apologize if people have heard these before, but um, this piece is titled Litany for Change. Change the Pacific Ocean trash gyre, a swirling mast of pestilence, vomiting plastic demons, devouring the innocence of the sea. Change the melting mountains of ice, the thinning rug beneath the polar bear's feet. Change their early eclipse from the world. Change the war wars in the Middle East, wiping out the children in the streets, dressed in gray rags, playing with dirt and sticks and with pebbles. Change the insatiable hunger of the rich for diamonds and dollar bills, for oil to eat and oil to drink their self-indulging time bomb for us all. Change the extinction of the bats and the bees, the little hard-working creatures who never asked us for anything in life. Change their downfall from this planet. Change our lust for ignorance, for more and more things, our hypnotic affair with guns and ammunitions, with violence on the air and violence in our dreams. Change the foolhardiness with which we treat the earth, the yanking out of forests by the acres without knowing the lives there, with no care for the souls there. Change our narcissism over minuscule acts of how far we've come, our bizarre decrees of dominion over earth and sky and seas. Change the minds and the hearts of men their rotted countryside and blackened waterways, their tainted winds and distempered cities. Let them be filled with color again. Let them be youthful and vibrant again. Let them be lucid, living, and loving again. <laughs>